हेलो फ्रेंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट थेरम्स ऑफ प्रेयर ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन चैप्टर फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व एच एस सी ओके दिस चैप्टर कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू थेरम विच आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दियर बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन सो द फर्स्ट थेरम इज ऑन द बोर्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू फर्स्ट थेरम प्रूफ दैट द जॉइंट इक्वेशन ऑफ पेयर ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन पासिंग थ्रू ओरिजिन इज the homogeneous equation of second degree in x and y so solution will start from this let a1 x plus b1 y equal to 0 and a2 x plus b2 y equal to 0 be the straight line passing through origin these are two lines that are passing through origin now joint equation of them is joint equation of them in the sense we have to multiply them okay here i am doing a1 x plus b1 y multiply by a2 x plus b2 y equal to 0 okay we have to take their joint equation okay Mul just we have to do now simple multiplication and now we will get a1 a2 x square okay a1 a2 x square plus a1 b2 y x y plus b1 a2 xy plus a1 b1 b2 y square is equal to 0 up to here your concept is clear okay about this theorem so i am repeating it uh, we uh, we have to find out the joint equation of pair of straight line passing through origin is the homogeneous equation of second degree in x and y so we have considered this two uh, equation of uh, pair of straight line which is passing through the origin and now we have to take according to the theorem we have to take the joint equation now we have taken that joint equation joint equation is generally product of this both okay so this is our joint equation so now let us consider that a1 a2 is equal to a and b1 b2 is equal to b and a1 b2 plus a2 b1 by remo removing common xy from uh, this we will get a1 b2 plus b1 a2 that is equal to 2h okay now replacing this values in this joint equation we get we get a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equal to 0 okay so which is homogeneous equation basically because the degree is same here the degree of x is 2 here the degree of xy is 2 and here the degree of y is 
that's only we have to prove here so uh, then up to here it you will get two marks then you have to write there hence the joint equation of pair of straight line passing through the origin is homogeneous equation of second degree in x and y in board examination okay then and then only the examiner will give you the full marks okay these two theorems are a bit more important because the every year one of the two theorem is there in the board examination paper of uh, i think so three or four marks uh, okay so uh, observe this carefully so our second theorem is on the board the theorem says that proof that every homogeneous equation of second degree in x and y always represent a pair of straight line passing through origin now in the examination the question can be like this or like this i have written the both of it so if this question arises in the question paper so don't be confused they both are same but are ask in different language somehow different changes they have done that for example homogeneous equation they have written here they have already written here homogeneous equation but in form of x square or a square a x square plus b y square plus 2 h x equal to 0 so i am reading the second one the proof that the equation a x square plus b y square plus 2 x 2 h x y is equal to zero always represent a pair of straight line passing through origin if h square minus a b equal to zero these two questions are same but their but their arrangement is different okay arrangement in the sense the here they have written homogeneous equation here they have also given us the homogeneous equation okay so now i am rubbing the downward question because i have a very less space here to solve this theorem okay okay so the solution for the theorem second is on the board let us suppose that a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equal to 0 be the homogeneous equation be the homogeneous equation so in this we have to take the different cases there are three cases so case first first put b is equal to 0 in this put b is equal to 0 the equation 1 become a x square plus 2 h x y plus 0 equal to 0 that is a x square plus 2 h x y equal to 0 okay now simplify this uh, take a x common x common a x square sorry a x only a x plus 2 h y equal to 0 so x equal to 0 and a x plus 2 h y equal to 0 so if we consider the case b is equal to 0 there are two lines passing through origin one is x is equal to 0 and another one is 
ए एक्स प्लस टू एच वाई इक्वल टू जीरो सो दे आर टू लाइन सो अवर थेरम इज सेटिस्फाइड बट फॉर द सेकेंड केस वी हैव टू टेक सो फर्स्ट यू लुक एट द फर्स्ट केस देन वी विल स्टडी द सेकेंड केस सो अवर सेकेंड केस केस सेकेंड put a equal to 0 b equal to 0 but 2h is not equal to 0 then equation 1 will become 2h x y equal to 0 therefore x y equal to 0 therefore x equal to 0 y equal to 0 according to our case second putting the a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 but h is 2h is not equal to 0 we are getting the two pair of straight line passing through origin so this case is also satisfied okay so now our case third but you look at first case second so our case third is put b is not equal to 0 okay b is not equal to 0 therefore the equation become a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equal to 0 i am rearranging this equation as b y square plus 2 h x y plus a x square equal to 0 now multiply throughout by b b square y square plus 2 h x y x y b plus a b x square equal to zero. Okay. Now adjust plus h square x square and minus h square x square. Okay. So b square y square plus two h b x y Plus h square x square minus h square x square plus a b x square equal to zero. Okay. Up to here, your concept is clear. Okay. So, uh, so the next step is taking this term common. okay in common in the sense in one bracket for example like this okay uh, so b square y square plus 2 h b x y plus h square x square now i am taking here x square common from this okay so it minus x square common from it okay so minus x square common the remaining term will be h square minus ab okay so what is this this is just the multiplication just the expansion of b y plus h x whole square okay this is just the expansion of that term and i am writing this term as minus x under root of h square minus ab whole square equal to 0 equal to 0 can i write this okay Uh, can uh, yes i can write this because if i give the square to x it will become x square and this root will be cancelled so i ha i have get that original step okay from uh, this okay so we have get now a square minus b square 
so expand it okay a square minus b square is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b multiplication of a plus b a minus b so i will get here by plus hx plus x under root of h square minus ab into by plus hx minus x under root of h square minus ab equal to 0. So I am rubbing this side because it is very lengthy. So these are two lines passing through origin therefore by plus hx plus x under root of h square minus ab equal to 0 be the one line and by plus hx minus x under root of h square minus ab equal to 0 be the another line passing through the origin if and only if when here h square minus ab is greater than equal to 0 okay here h square minus ab is greater than equal to 0 if this is not equal to this is less than 0 then what will happen this all will be disturbed okay from here so we can't generate two lines okay but in the question we want two lines okay x and y always represent a pair of straight line passing through the origin pair okay so this is all about the theorem second so look at this carefully